So let's talk about this, this dragon here, Richard, because you mentioned it earlier. So tell me, tell me more about that and the okay. symbolism of the dragon. This is a painting that was made with a calculation, again, with the Polaroid on graph paper. Some of them are in a shell and they reflect the way I organized before a painting. I organized before a painting with the concept of, could this be a painting? Many calculations do not resolve themselves to become a painting. So they never get painted, or years later they become a painting, when I think of them as possibility. And every time I paint the paintings, they become a form of my life as the artist. So, all of the artwork in the show is merely a form of myself. And I would say that form is the person that always seems to have wanted to become, or innately was driven to become an artist. And whatever happened along that way with wrestling and Vietnam formed an undertone to the whole form of my life. But meanwhile, once I had this calculation and I had already been involved with work on Halong Bay, which is the symbol of this arching shape here, which was a part of the bay, a big valley hill area of the bay. The bay is here, the goldfish, the koi fish that the dragon created, which would become a dragon again. Here the dragon is in the other side of the calculation. And the dragon, as an artist, I was aware of Western dragons, even as a teenager, it was a bestial animal. And in the East, it became a friendly animal. And I, realized all the different kinds of art history that had dragons in them, that I didn't want one of them. That would be generic. I don't have any need for a generic image in my show. It's only whatever I have as an image. And meanwhile, this dragon became formed out of the act of painting. But while I was forming the act of painting, I knew I wanted to get a dragon out of there. And I invented this ugly dragon. And he is a dragon no art history has. And so I'm very happy that Hatha Hayes loves this dragon because it is a complete invention of me and it's my own form of a dragon. And I was conscious of not being generic. So up above here is the eye of Kodai which is always creeping into my paintings. It is a tremendous feeling of unification of human beings. It's all about the same thing, even if you're killing each other. Years later, like when I met the Viet Cong and the North Vietnamese army people, as an artist, and they were artists, we loved each other. There was intensity of communication that has never been ever felt by anything else in my life. It's beautiful.